It's a whole episode about how we would like to shit on Donald Trump's star. <laughs> <laughs> the different things we would eat beforehand. Right. <laughs> Talk about Taco Bell. Right. <laughs> You're going to get arrested. Do it right. I always said or assumed that if I was going to be arrested for anything, it would be for inciting a riot or public indecency. <laughs> Once again, hello. <laughs> Welcome back to Sugar. Nice. And everything nerdy. I'm Watkins. I'm Michelle. And I'm Natasha. And today we are talking about mm -hmm. literature. literature. Books. Yeah. <laughs> Fundamentals. Rainbow, the more you know. Um, so what books are you guys reading these days? I'm currently reading Good Omens, even oh, though I've, started, I've already started watching the show, but I'm still okay. reading it. Cool. <laughs> I haven't been reading anything fun as far as fantasy. That's okay. I just, I've been reading this book called um, Dataclism that's talking about oh. how social media and data is destroying our lives. So oh, wow, fun. you read like real books. In, in yeah. Oh, real intellectual. Yeah. Yeah. I can't go to a bookstore. <laughs> I, I can't go to a bookstore <laughs> without buying a book like that, I'll be honest. Oh, it's like truly. I've, I always walk out yeah, of half, every bookstore with half one. Half-price books? <laughs> yes, right. half-price books uh, on North Decatur yes. is like right next to Joann's, and it's a problem. It's also next it's to a Home I know goods. that it's one. So yeah. It's literally between a Joann's and a Home Goods, and I'm like, y'all, I can't yes. go to the shopping center. <laughs> like, I just can't go. I, I have to park, like, all the way on the Joann's <laughs> side, but it, well, it's, like not stay it's not enough. It's not enough. I will walk down the whole You're thing. Like, I've got some time today. Yeah. I've got like four hours to kill. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> it's like that's how long I'll stay in there if you let me. Really? Yeah. Now I have like six new books, and they're all kind of scholarly and depressing, but we it's are cool. We are here today <laughs> to talk about book addiction. Yes. <laughs> are you or a loved one plagued with being literate? <laughs> Do you Don't also have a back stock of books you swear you'll read? <laughs> Do you buy the entire series of a manga? <laughs> even though you haven't finished the last manga that you read. Do you start books ha having not <laughs> finished your other books that you've read? Yes. All three, oh four of God. them? <laughs> oh. I've got that thing where it's like on my nightstand, I've got like a few books, or they're not on anymore because now it's like shameful. So I put them in my nightstand now, but I've got like three books and they have like bookmarks no and like the know. middle, the beginning. Right, because you're, yes. like, you're like, what are you reading? And I'm like, lots of things. I don't really remember half of them, but <laughs> I swear I read. <laughs> I think honestly the last books that I read read was The King Killer Chronicles, hmm. which I haven't finished because he hasn't published the third book, so that's fine. Him and, I forget, uh, Patrick Rothfuss, that's his name. Him and George R. I almost said J.R. Tolkien. Tolkien's no longer with us, R.I.P. Oh. George R. R. Martin can just like, are like in a club together where they're like, we're gonna write these great books and we're never going to finish the series. <laughs> America will be plagued. <laughs> no, Martin's game is, his end game, his end game mm -hmm. is to pass away be without finishing. Nuh -uh. No, I think it is. Oh, <laughs> And I am mad about, I don't wanna talk about or, season. Or, I don't wanna season eight. I, I think don't wanna talk was, about it. Maybe he was waiting for this TV series to finish and he was like, because I know they're going to fuck it up, I've so that he can write the book better than they did the TV series. I, I, I can believe that, because he started it. I have that theory that, right. that he's, he waited to see like how people would like or dislike right. that ending. And it's he's going like, to take the okay, notes from I'll it. He's like, how can I one. make this better? Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, favorite book adaptations? Good. Oh, which ones are good or bad? I think Game of Thrones is pretty decent for the most part up until the very end there, but I think this might be my own personal opinion, but the best um, book to anything adaptation, maybe of all time, is by far The Lord of the Rings. Yes, I was gonna as say, far that's as my, movies, yes. yes. Gotta be the best, like, I mean. Far and away. They Given did how much time they had and how yes. they had extended versions and they just, uh, yeah. like, they went all out. I love the extended versions because it made me happy as someone as that did, reader. yeah, <laughs> as a reader. I was like, You're but like, what oh, about this scene? Things. I was like, yes. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it made me really happy. Oh, and the fact that they have um, the whole, basically half the island, like, we went a workshop, and there's like, my dad talks about this all the time because he worked on the toys for, he was like, we would go in the workshop and you'd meet people and their sole job is like, all they do all day is paint the spearheads of orc spears. Oh, and that's wow. literally their job for like however long they produced that that's series. Like, right. what, like five, <laughs> eight, ten years or something. Think but, about how much the graphic wow. designers had right. to do like in and Harry Potter for the all the little village. labels and whatnot. Right. Uh, they built that whole hob, they built like Hobbiton. And I literally, love, like, yes. 
I want to go. If I go to New Zealand, one day I'll go to New Zealand and I'm going to do that tour. <laughs> and one it's going to be amazing. really rich because we're going to get like sponsors because we're going to have so many followers. <laughs> yes. And they're just going to like sponsor us to go sponsor there. Sponsor us. Let's, let's go there. Let's go to all the Game of Thrones locations. Ooh, <laughs> yes. 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 I'm here for that. They also oh, have like a that. tour in England or Europe where you can do like the Doctor Who and like Torchwood tour. And Ooh. so it'll just take you around like Wales and stuff. It's really cool. <sighs> Dude, I want to see. Trash adaptations. Hobbit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do we do we talk about the Hobbit? <laughs> do we? It was fun. Do we want to talk about the? Hobbit? It was okay. It was okay. It was alright. It was, but it wasn't Lord of the Rings. Yeah. yeah. It was underwhelming compared to Lord of the Rings. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, and the fact that they they took one book and, dra- and drug drag it out. Into yeah, three. I didn't get that. I was like, you didn't need. No, no one. No one wanted that. Out. Well, As someone that read the books, I didn't literally. want that. Yes. No one did. <laughs> no one <laughs> read the books. Like, and I have a feeling that they did it for... Money. For, well, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, because the dragon was this big, like, pool that they could use, and they didn't want to, like, give it away too soon. So they were like, well, we can't just, like, give it away in the first movie, so we have to have a second movie. So they waited until the second movie to reveal Smog, and then they were like, well, now we At the end have, of the movie. <laughs> right, now we have too much left to cover, so we have to make a third movie. I, I, it was just yeah. a marketing ploy. After all that, I didn't even see the third one. Yes, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's not. Watch the animated one from the 70s. That's a riot. That's, oh, that was, it's that's a, riot. a good adaptation it also from what I've heard. <laughs> definitely gave me nightmares, but <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> Um, no. But other movie or book adaptations that you guys like thought were funny or good or bad? I liked the beginning of the Harry Potter season or mm-hmm. series. Mm-hmm. 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 As it went on, I had more and more problems with it, but I still finished it out. Right. I got a little nitpicky because I had read the oh, books I first. Nitpicky and I nitpicky because for that reason. I read all the books <laughs> like, with the exception of the last one because I was just mm-hmm. like, I'm just. Let me just, I just watched the two movies. And Deathly Hallows was the one was, that was the uh, most different. And what kills me is that she, J.K. Rowling, like, sign, she was like an executive producer. And I'm like, girl, you just go and sign off on this? She's just like, yeah, whatever. It's like, I okay, did not, I trust you. Uh, right. I just recently, this year, finished the second Deadly Hollows yeah. movie. Because, like, the first one is just really slow. I was like, yeah. oh, my God. It takes a minute. Because they're, like, <laughs> camping for half Yeah. The day. I'm just mm-hmm. like, this is not necessary. Nope. <laughs> like, nope. Honestly, is, like, reading that book and getting halfway through and they're still in the freaking woods, I'm just like, yes. this book doesn't have much longer. How are they going to finish this up? <laughs> Literally. Well, it's like how I felt in the first few books every time he was at Privet Drive. I was just like, come on, get to school already. This I is know, so just, boring. Yeah, just hop to it. Like, yeah. literally. I know it's like laying that's, the groundwork for like of, important plot work. That's kind of what yeah. the movies began to do. It's like yes. they didn't even yeah. bother with the Dursleys right. in, in the fourth one, which was yeah. one of the funnier ones. LOL. The fourth <laughs> yeah. one was, as a movie, I feel like jumped around. It was so bad. I feel like to after yourself. Prisoner of Azkaban, they were like, cool, well, that was pretty much as good as it's going to get. So just like, just, we're going to just like them all like that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, yeah. it's like I wouldn't mind seeing them come back a la Game of Thrones style, though, where each I think they're gonna have season to was a different a book. book. It's like because I, I feel like with be Fantastic so Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald, I feel like they've brought they now that they've expanded on books that she didn't even like write stuff for. Mm-hmm. So I feel like maybe give it a few more, like maybe five, ten more years, and they as long as Maggie Smith is still alive and can play McGonagall, I feel like they're <laughs> so gonna I was have gonna to say if it's it. if it's that far in the future, I'd like to see the original actors come back as other Ooh. characters. Ooh. Like imagine like that Emma movie. Watson as McGonagall or yeah. something. Yeah. Oh, I love her. Oh, that's cute. I like this. <laughs> this is a good idea. I love or her, although Dan I was a little Dumbledore upset maybe. by. Mm-hmm her in the movies because I feel like they changed her character yeah. and made her t- they made her too they, perfect like she was like they made yeah, her like kind of made, prissy yeah well, like, well, and what happened to her like she her had like hair. the hair I'm just like what are they you know what a big problem was Steve Cloves said that Hermione was his favorite character yes I remember so that he tried to make her like he, pretty too perfect yeah I know what you yeah. mean though like reading it I'm just like reading like she would mess like, up on spells sometimes and sometimes she brown hair it's like where are right. you and then they cast Emma Watson she's like so cute and I'm just like, oh. Heck, okay. Yeah, I do remember um, <laughs> Rowling did say in the interviews, like, she liked Emma Watson, but she's like, you're actually too, like, she said that she too thought, good. yeah, she's, yeah. I think she talked to her on the phone and liked her, and then when she met her, she's like, I like she's, her, but it's like, she's, she's too, too cute. Per- <laughs> she's too cute for the role. She, she said that was yeah. kind of like all the characters, too, though. Like, yeah. supposed to be, like, really like, nerdy looking, and they're, they're, well, right, yeah. they're all Hollywood Kids. versions yeah. of yeah. their characters. <laughs> okay, but in the Hunger Games. Don't speak it. <laughs> Katniss was supposed to have oh. olive skin and black hair. She yeah. And oh, then yeah. Jennifer Lawrence with her peaches and cream, Whatever. you know, mm. skin and brown hair, brown wig. Right. <laughs> and it's just, Literally. Yeah. 
and then like they switched. The Hunger Games so were many like o okay adaptations, but I also mm -hmm. didn't read I never the read last the books. books until after the last movies came out. Do you yeah, have I have actually saw. On those? I actually saw the first movie first and then I read the gotcha. book and that was when I discovered how she was supposed to look and I was like what the hell You're like wait a <laughs> yeah that's wrong casting <laughs> yeah. it's like yeah. she's typical <laughs> you know it's like but I will say I, I have to give Hunger yeah. Games credit though because I feel like Hunger Games kind of bird I feel like was like a renaissance for like um yaw novels and dystopia fiction to be made into movies oh yeah that's true like that and then like divergent series and the maze runner all mm -hmm. of these really great like dystopian like young adult novels all of a sudden they had it like yeah, coming had, like, soon coming explosion. soon in the making in the making mm -hmm. yeah are yeah. there I, are there any that are still being made right now i went through a whole phase because it was like twilight is like that whole like teenage uh, genre of like apocalyptic stories it was like right. they oh, there's a yeah. good few years where we had a lot mm -hmm. of amazing book yeah, series come out lot. of that yeah it was awesome it was funny because not long ago i was you know how we we grew up with like the internet and yes. like evolving mm -hmm. you know it's mm -hmm. like i remember watching the trailer for the first sorcerer's stone on dial-up <laughs> <Nah! laughs> and then oh, it's wow. like realizing how you know it took so long for the yeah. books to come out and then the movies come out and yeah. now they're, they're, yeah. now it's all over and I'm just wondering, how much of my life have I spent watching, like, Dana Radcliffe on the internet? <laughs> God, that's true. Because mm. 2001 was kind of like the golden year. That was in Sorcerer's Stone and Lord of the Rings. The Fellowship oh, of the yeah. Ring both came out in 2001. That's true. Yeah. So did Legally Blonde. 2001 was a golden year for movies. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but I remember also in the dial-up, the Lord of the Rings trailer for Fellowship was, like, this big. Once you had, because it took, like, 14 hours to download, and it was, like, this right. big. <laughs> and it's just, like, the Urukai running through Amon right. Hen. And just they're, like, the teaser. so cool. And they're, it's like five seconds long. And you're like, well, can't wait in six years when this comes out. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's like we don't want to see too much in the trailers. And right. Yeah. It's like people used to go to movies just right. for the trailers, and now they, you know, they drop, and you can watch them on YouTube the same day. It's like, oh yeah. God, I know, that's right? And people are like, spoilers, and I'm like, but bruh, if it's based off of a book, haven't you read the book? Yeah. Right. That's true. Right. <laughs> that's well, and speaking of, somebody brought up Neil um, Gaiman early in Good Omens. Have y'all yeah. read any of his other stuff? I haven't, haven't, but I want to. A graveyard oh, book yeah. is my fave. I do it's have. It's super short, too. I've I heard have American Gods. American Gods. Well, yeah, and that's American another Gods. one that got made into a show, but it's on, like, stars or something random that, that you, like, no have one to has. buy. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's a bad show? They're all doing this. Oh. Is it? <laughs> I've never actually seen it. So I haven't I seen it. <laughs> right. I'll see it because Christian Chenoweth is in it, but that's basically yeah. But also, I think I'd rather. I think I started it listening to the audio book instead. It has an interesting oh. premise. Yeah. But I ha yeah, I haven't seen this show. My mm. boyfriend might have downloaded. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> I, might, not a I, should, I might watch it someday, but okay, so yeah. Then. Oh, The Handmaid's Tale just finished today as we're recording this, and I, I actually recently got, uh, my friend got me a graphic novel version <gasps> of The Handmaid's Ooh. Tale, and it's really good. Well, I always that's forget that that's cool. based on a book, too, and it's like, yeah. I don't know if I think watching it might be too triggering based on our political climate, but reading yes. it could be, like, really fun. That's why I haven't started yeah. watching it, because I'm like, this is going to get too real for me, I feel like. Yeah. But <laughs> anyway. I didn't, I didn't really know a whole lot about it until I started reading it, and then it's just like, oh, my God. You're like, oh, it's the future. <laughs> The not, Great. The not too distant at all future. <laughs> well, there's a lot of things, mad. books that are like that. Though. I mean, think about it, like 1984. A lot of like oh, yes. classic dystopian literature has kind of like yeah. predicted stuff oh, that we've gone through. It's, yeah. it's always yeah. like, it's Big always Brother been. Is watching like for yeah. real. For it's real, always for been a you have a Alexa is be. listening. Yes. <laughs> oh, Y'all yeah. don't have Alexa in the studio, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding, Alexa. I love you. You look great today. What are you wearing? <laughs> but I was like, if you want like emotionally wrenching books, what is this? saddest book y'all have ever read like what's the book you cried the hardest over i definitely i mean harry potter's definitely one for me i was gonna say i think the the part where dumbledore Oof. dumbledore's funeral oh, is where it really got yes. me and what it was it was really because i remembered you know just the loss of richard harris who was an amazing actor oh, yeah and i still uh, and i yeah. still pictured richard harris in my mind as i yes. read the book so when that yeah. happened it was just like, you were like uh, eek. right because all the tears oh god yeah that that hit, that hurt. That She's one. hard. That was, that was what. Mm. Sorry, spoilers. I, Does oh, everybody know that? Well, the, <laughs> I will say that the last movie in the Harry Potter series, mm. like that, like the whole thing with Snape and everything, mm. since I didn't read the last book, I gave yeah. up on it. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, so yeah. all that was a surprise for you. But yeah, I didn't know. I was oh, like, your heart. What? Oh, you I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. What? I had a, yeah, we had a, we had a pause it, because I was like, I did not know this. Like reading like things like 1984 or the anthem or it just, like things that kind of make me, yeah, like reflect on our society. Like maybe not cried yeah. over, but you're like, this is 
like eek too yeah. real is a little hard to read yeah. but that makes it such a good read right the like, crucible right. was kind of like that for me oh, like because oh, i love yeah. the crucible but <laughs> crucible makes that me want to gouge my eyes out oh, gosh. <laughs> like i get why it's so good but i'm like it's just bratty girls that are mad because some guy didn't want to dick her down right <laughs> she's literally just mad that you can't get the dick i remember reading <laughs> and you like know what but like the actual story was just like girls that were yes. bored because they were puritans oh. and what the hell yes. did they have to yes. do <laughs> oh my um, god so this one guy like won't make out with me so i'm just gonna like I'm just gonna like have everybody get murdered. Like I'm just gonna <laughs> pretend that I'm like possessed by Satan. It's gonna yeah. be really funny. You guys watch. <laughs> Final thoughts. Favorite books? Books? Do we know any books that are like coming out soon? I actually don't know. I will I say know. anything by Carrie Fisher. Oh, yeah, truly, is a Carrie delight. Fisher. You have, you have to read. He's so sad. Yeah. Carrie Fisher. I already read The Princess Diaries. So I'm working on this one now, and uh, then Wishful Drinking. That's Wish one that drinking. I. That's yeah. the one that I just purchased and oh, I. Books Bird. Oh <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. Um, I know that Margaret Atwood's supposed to have a sequel to The Handmaid's Tale, and okay. I, don't, I don't know oh, how close okay. it's going to be to uh, the show because the sh the show really, the book only like goes up to the first season. I oh, think. dope! Oh, the wow! Fir the first or second, and then I will they say, tie up in the next one. Um, Good Omens was was Good Omens the one that was co-written by um, Terry Pratchett? Yes. Is that go yes. okay? Um, uh, Terry Pratchett actually wrote the Discworld series. Um, oh. Which is very, very long. It's like 27 books and counting. But towards, oh, wow. the, towards wow. the end of writing him, he started developing um, Alzheimer's. So he tried to like crank them out really fast. Um, but it's a really, really cool series about, and like the whole premise is Discworld. Like the world is flat with a discover, and it's held up by four elephants that are standing on the back of a turtle that swims through space. Oh. It's really cool. Hold it's really fun. But so if you like Good Omens, anything by Neil Gaiman, <laughs> but Terry Pratchett, that's kind of like his foray into the fantasy world, which yeah. is really, really good. And they're old, but they're good. Yeah, Good Omens yeah. was so good. I don't feel like the show did it justice, even though the show was really good too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I will say that I started rereading re Lost World uh, from Ooh. the Jurassic Park series. Oh, I never yeah. actually yeah. read Jurassic Park, but I I did read Michael Crichton's. Uh, Pirate Latitudes, Ooh. such a good book. And, okay, and that was actually his last found manuscript. Like there was another book oh. that he that he began but didn't finish. But that was the last one that was all him. Oh, that's oh, dope. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love shit like, like that. that. Yeah. Hidden yeah. manuscripts. We love it. <laughs> um, yeah. Once again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Bye. Bye. Bye.